Hey everyone. It is December, December. I keep saying December. I think I said December in my last video. Somebody caught it though. Um, November 21st. Um, uh, Thanksgiving's in a couple days and I have a kiln opening. Um, I should have another one in a couple days. I'm going to reload this. Well, I've got some mugs to paint and then I'm going to reload this and then there'll be another one probably on well, since Thursday's Thanksgiving or probably Friday, but I have a show this Friday, so um, kind of in a hurry. I've got a few things down where I work, so you guys probably won't get to see those because uh, I'll probably unload that tomorrow. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. I will, I guess what I'll do is just hold it up. Oh, these are my uh, snowmen. So I can't, I got this idea from, um, I think it was on Pinterest, but it was a totally different um, idea. It was all different colors and wasn't quite like this. So I decided to make it my own and make it into a snowman. So he is going to get, um, I don't have any in here, I don't think. He's going to get raffia wire arms. So it's that wire in the garden section of Hobby Lobby. And it's um, wrapped in brown raffia. So that's gonna go through here and then come around to the front. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll tie it together with something. I'm not sure if I use a bead, maybe bead for little um, gloves or something. And then you can put it, I'm gonna put a candle on the top. So the wire going through here will hold the candle up. Although I do have candles that'll sit right in here. So I have, let me just walk by here. Oh, my son. <laughs> but, oh no, I got to deliver their delivery. <laughs> oh, my husband's gone though, so it won't matter. Okay, maybe I should lower you down. I don't know if that'd be easier. Because I have a whole bunch of these. Let me lower you down. <laughs> you can see I have a whole kiln load of these little guys. I don't know. I'm jostling you around. You're all going to get seasick. I'm trying to think of a safe place to I'll set these over here. I have to move them quick though because you know we got the kitty cats. Let's see if I can make this work a little better, otherwise I might. How's that? So here's another one. You guys didn't see me make those. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do a thing on those. Um, they turned out really nice. It's basically just making a cylinder, you know. I made a pattern for it. And then just kind of rolled them up and kind of ad-libbed on the little buttons and there we go. So I think I have eight of those. And they're all, except for the buttons, they're all kind of the same. Um, their noses are a little different. And... Oh, that is are so cute. I'm really happy with those. Those are adorable. Can you see these sitting on your dinner table with two candles on the top? <laughs> you just want to laugh at them. Put them all in a circle and they can have a little conversation. are a fun little thing to do um, especially if you get little kids this is an idea that I may have to use um, next year with the little five-year-olds that I teach um, they would have a blast making those okay so I did some snowmen um, now these will get um, so this hope you can see this okay um, so this is that high fire wire. So you could you could hang this by that if you wanted to. Um, they are hollow. They start out as a pinch pot, and I added the head on the top. Um, yeah, he's got little earmuffs on. <laughs> Not sure about his eyes though. I, I um, 
I don't know. That the eyes are dark, but for some reason they, I don't know. What do you think about the eyes? I didn't want to put eye, um, make them white because I thought they'd be kind of strange looking. Which they're, you know, I mean, they're supposed to be funky, obviously, but this one's got little earmuffs. And these will get the, the raffia uh, arms too. I should have brought a box in to set these in. And this one's my favorite. I may have to. This one, um, the holder in there, because I was going to use wire for it for this. And then I made. Can you see that little? These are little um, mittens. And then run the wire through, and then put the the mittens in the front. Now he has a little birdie on his head. He's cute. I love that high fire wire. You can do such fun things with that. If you put any weight on them, like one time I, I stuck the wire in a in a little pond uh, plate that I made, and at the top of the little wire I put, I think I had a little bird, and it did slump over. So um, if you've got any weight at the end of the wire, it probably will not hold it through the high fire glaze. Uh, this one, I don't know. They, 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 I'm not sure what's wrong with these black eyes, but I just don't, I don't know, not liking them that much. But like, he looks like he's been out drinking all night. <laughs> Maybe he has, you know. Maybe he's celebrating holidays early. Just, oh, wow. Huh. Well, here's little, little uh, heads up. So, on this snowman, there wasn't any, there wasn't anything wrong with him, but um, he had some little rough edges here. So I used that, oh, that um, Greenware Mender. It's that little cheap stuff. It's uh, Mako makes it, but uh, it does. It is a lot whiter. Can you see the? So I'll have to reglaze this one. Shoot, he's really cute too. Yeah, I'll have to reglaze him and cover that up. I put some of that, ooh, I put some of that on a plate. And now I'm worried. <laughs> Trying to think which plate I put that on. One of my Christmas plates. Yikes. I think, oh well, I can't. I'm not sure I like the blue and the red on this guy. But. I wanted it to be kind of wintry and not real Christmassy, but I think once the raffia arms get in there, I think he'll be okay. Like I said, he's hollow too. I just started him out as, um, like I said, I just started him out as pinch pots. And this was a reglaze. Turned out nice, but I'll probably do it again because I have a little, <laughs> you probably can't see it, but there's a little spot in here. So I'll probably try one more time. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, it'll be a really nice cat bowl. And this turned out gorgeous. Oh, I love, love this. Um, I can't remember. I want to say this is, no, I don't think it's speckled toad. Um, I listed in my other video, I did another leaf. Um, it's a new glaze by Mako. And if you, I'll put it in the description of this video. I don't know if you can see the, the really nice, nice texture of that. Look at the, all the nuances of it. I love a glaze that um, is not one color. It's really hard to get an effect like this in an electric kiln. But Mako's coming out with some gorgeous glazes, and um, I'm trying to switch over to Mako in in my classroom because it's so much cheaper than Amico. So I'm gonna get this plate 
it out first. Oh, I love this. This I kind of, this was an inspiration from somebody, but I can't remember who, sorry. Um, wait a minute. Before I cut my finger. Um, it's a little off center, but, but I just love that. Isn't that pretty? I don't know, I may sell it. I may, it's just plain on the back. But yeah, that's, I love that. I will be, do, I have to do some more of these. Play with the, this is, this is really just, um, you know how I do it on my, on my mugs sometimes? Like, kind of my doodle mugs? Just kind of blend the underglazes. This is all underglaze. Well, actually, this is all this is all underglaze. This is turquoise. This is like three coats of turquoise, and this is chartreuse, and that's just a mixture, a mixture of colors. But that turned out really pretty. I'm happy with that. Let's see here. And this looks, this looks good. So I think you guys saw me paint this. So I'll take a picture of this and put it on the video. That turned out really nice. The um, most of the greens did not burn out. Um, yeah, the greens stay really well. I put enough coats on so that did not burn out. So yeah, I like that one. That's pretty. And then, I don't think you guys saw me do these either. These are just um, fun spoon rests. I think I made um, like 35 of these. This is, uh, remember me telling you I was gonna make a video, a second video um, last, I think it was, um, let's see, maybe Saturday or Sunday. And I was cross-eyed by the time I got done because I was painting all these snowmen. <laughs> but I'm so happy that 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 turned out. Like I said, I think I did, um, <laughs> I think I did like 30, 35 of them or something like that. I can't remember. I lost count. And then these are just some fun little dishes that I kind of did as a test. Um, I used a wooden stamp, um, a wooden cutout that I got at Hobby Lobby for these. I just pressed it in the clay, cut out a circle, and then just pressed it um, with, a, with the underside of a bowl into um, a sponge, you know, a big sponge cushion. Here's another one. And here's another one. Yeah, so I don't know. These are just, they're not, they're just fun little, fun little bowls. This is Joy to the World. I thought we had could really give joy to the world. That would be a good thing. It's always nice to give joy to others. Alrighty. Oh, let's see here. These are, they look pretty good. I did it. This is, this is the ones I made like five of and for somebody and only a couple turned out. My Cincinnati plates. This is that stamp that I had made. I think it was, I think it was four stamps. Archie, shush. And of course my dog barking again. There's another since I plate in here. And it looks like the color is really nice. So this is the one um, I had to remember. I had to sieve it. I told you it was oolites, and it was it was really so much oolites or sediment. So I sieved it, and boy, it turned out much, much nicer. Very, very nice. I had to sand the bottoms of those a little bit. Uh, here's another one of these. Just little trinket dishes or whatever. Be nice to set them next to your 
place setting at Christmas or something and put little, I don't know, maybe salt in it. And then these are little dishes. I just uh, kind of, I don't know, just having fun with them. I don't know how many I got of those. I only see three here. And this is a real tiny one. This is probably one of the first ones that I thought, that's so small, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> After I made it, I thought, hmm, it's going to be bigger than that. One more shelf. And then I got some errands to run. And then I'm going to come home and glaze some mugs. And I'll probably share some of that video with you guys. And I'm going to put some snowflake transfers on those. Okay, so here's... um. Oh, I like that. Wow. I don't like, I'm not, hmm. So I decided to, I had a couple, remember the demo I did of the pumpkins? I'm going to have to um, add this to that video. But so usually I just dip my pumpkins into um, that Western orange art. Is that orange art glaze? You guys, I told you guys all about it. Anyway, I decided to do um, under glazes on this one. And gosh, I really... I prefer the underglazes. Takes longer than this one. I thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna try a white one. What do you think? I don't know. It's got a little touch of orange, but I thought, oh, I'll try that. So next year, we'll be making these. I have to start early though, because I sold out of them this year. I never make enough, but then there's just a couple of these little, little fun dishes. I don't know what the heck they're for. Okay, and this is another plate I did. This turned out so nice. Gosh, I wish I could make more plates easier and, oh, I don't know, they're not really that hard. They really don't take... I don't know, they don't take too long to paint, I guess, really. It's just hard to paint, you know, 30 of them or something. <laughs> you know me, I don't like to paint the same thing twice. So I'll have to sand the bottoms of those a little bit. And then here's some uh, snowman mugs I did. I don't think you guys didn't see these either. Oh, let me turn the camera. So I did um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I did seven, seven of these. He's got the black eyes too, so I'm not really sure about the black eyes, 100%, but anyway, um, yeah. Cute, 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 I'm happy with that though. So, honestly, they're all, you know, they're all a little different. <laughs> I really like these. The handles are just like stems. And they're so simple, you know, to make. There's a couple more. These will all be at the West Side Market this Saturday. You can come and join me while I freeze my hiney off. <laughs> it's noon to five outside. clay booger on there. Um, noon to five outside. It's always supposed to be like 48 degrees or something. So that's coming. I'll be cold, right? This is a smaller one. Isn't he cute? Oh, I really like this. It's always nice, you know, when you can open a kiln and everything turns out. But, you know, you know, it doesn't always happen, but this was a very good kiln load, so I have to thank the kiln gods for sure. So that's it. Um, that's all I have for you today. Very happy with uh, with these. These turned out really cute. And my plates turned out, so I'm happy with those. I needed a good day. Thanks for watching. 
um, like I said, there'll be another kiln opening um, with some more plates, mugs. Um, I might paint some snowman eyes and stuff on the other mugs I have too, because these turn out cute, but those have regular handles. Um, but I will do another video when I get home for running my errands and get those mugs glazed and get them back in here. And that should be the last firing I have. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my kiln shelf here. It's all discolored right there. Hmm. Something off sprayed, whatever I had there, off sprayed black, up, um, brown up onto the kiln lid in the side here. I don't like that. Anyway, have a great day. And if I don't, if you don't watch the next video, have a happy Thanksgiving. I know not everybody celebrates it, but it's still, you know, it's all about giving and eating. And so everybody does that. So, all right. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.